report did stat project predictions for all the projected starting quarterbacks. Now, for the Browns, uh, they project Jacoby Brissett to have 10 starts, 180 completions, 298 attempts, uh, over 1,900 yards, 16 touchdowns, just seven interceptions. He also had him running uh, for 148 yards, two more touchdowns. If Jacoby Brissett starts 10 games and has 16 TDs, seven picks, two more rushing touchdowns, the Browns are going to be okay in those 10 games because that defense is pretty good. If, if, and you also have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt running the football. Those numbers, if, if those are legit, Jacoby Brissett's going to win a lot of games for the Browns. Yeah, and I mean, with, with that running game, with that offensive line, with how good the defense is projected to be in 2022, maybe, you know, obviously that makes his job easier. And with, with Jacoby Brissett, I mean, I, I'm kind of thinking he doesn't start that many games in 2022. We obviously kind of have to wait to see what the NFL rules in the next couple months. You know, whether he missed Deshaun Watson missed a bunch of games or whether a suspension is pushed back to 2023 or whatever. But the bottom line with Jacoby Brissett is I think, you know, his talent level kind of falls somewhere between Baker Mayfield and Case Keenum. So I think it's kind of the middle ground between the two of them where Brissett is not going to throw a lot of touchdowns. What His production is going to be dependent pretty much on the guys in front of him and the guys around him. Now, obviously, getting Amari Cooper is going to help. Obviously, with a receiver who's got the ability to separate like Cooper does, he can make a lot of quarterbacks look very good. You know, I'm very high on David Bell and the contributions I think he can make out of the slot. Donovan Peoples-Jones, I think, has got a chance to take another step forward in 2022 along with David Njoku. We, you mentioned the running game. He doesn't need – This it's an offense where he won't need – if he starts, he won't need to be Superman. He'll just need to be kind of the point guard. Just, you know, get the get the guys the football, just do what you can to kind of manage games, try and, try and you know, just – stay ahead of schedule and like i talked about kevin stefanski you know call in place certainly will give jacoby Brissett a good chance to make to make things happen make things a little easier to help him out a little bit he's not an elite level starting quarterback i don't think anybody's going to say that he is but he's a guy who can certainly start a bunch of games and you know like most quarterbacks are kind of average maybe that upper tier backup quarterback you their success is kind of dependent on who they're playing with